Welcome back to Base Camp WNC. Well, here it is. I finally got a chance yesterday, and as usual, I started building before I started filming. But this time, it was in the pouring down rain yesterday. We must have got six inches of water. And last time when I first set it up, I just had the panels up on them saw horses attached to that board. And of course, there's my, my off grid power shack. I'm not done this thing yet, but we got the six panels moved down here and we're going to go over hooking it up later on, but these two panels are hooked in series, these two and these two, then all three of them are hooked in parallel. That gives me my 60 couple volts because I can only have 75 going into the inverter and 30 some amps and that way these have, what is it, 26 amps total. But here it is. I'm going to show you some of the steps I got to get it to this point. Just putting the post in and this frame right here. I got three bolts in the top thing. And this whole thing, this is the winter angle right now. And it can drop down to that board right there. Slide down to there and that'll be the summer angle. But I got a real good feeling. I'm gonna probably leave it right here. I got more than enough sunshine, enough hours in the day in the summertime. It might not be the maximum perfect angle, but it works. So I might move it this year and that might be about the end I ever move it. But let me show you what all it looks like. And as usual, I've started to build this thing already. But I started this thing yesterday and it was black and cloudy and it rained. And thunderstorm and I was in and out and I wasn't about to drag anything out here to videotape it in the rain so we're gonna go over real quick like I said this is just a wooden DIY tiltable solar rack and the three panels are gonna sit sideways on this thing you'll as you see but I basically set these two set that board up running east and west I'm standing here at the south end of it and I measured down that corner six foot and came down here eight foot and had a nail on that board just laying down there and between that one and that one was ten foot to lay it out square came up to this corner measured over measured out just laid the framework out but what I've done as you can see on a little bit later on in here these are the pieces of the I'm building on solar panels, but I've got them bolted right here through here. And I'll be able to take these bolts out. They're behind the solar panels. Drop this whole thing down for summertime angle. Or raise it up for wintertime angle. I wanted to show you this. This right here is the framework the panels are going to sit on. I get a little bit closer, I'll show you some more. Well, this is how they're going to sit. I'm going to have three sets of these on this rack. Because my configuration for this charge controller is two in series, three sets in parallel because it's a 60 volt, 60, 75 volt system. And this will put 60 volts to it. But what we've done here is, yes, they're mounted on two by fours and they'll be secured there. But what we've done is I put a two by four straight down underneath of it. And what that's going to do is keep the middle of this panel from bowing and buckling and have it rounded or twist out of shape when that treated lumber gets dry. And you'll kind of see it when we get done. Well, as simple as it is, that's what it is. I didn't go with metal racking. These are the panels I was getting before. I'm still getting them. If you live in western North Carolina all the way to Charleston, South Carolina, these panels are 250 watt panels. And I sell them for $115 a piece. They are used. They came off of houses where people got the scam job put on them with this whole house solar bit. But I still get a bunch of them. So if you're interested. But I went with a wood frame. One, because I'm a just a frugal person. Two, the metal framing and everything would cost more than what the panels cost. So I decided I'd rather have a couple racks of solar panels than I would one rack with a fancy, one set of solar panels with a fancy rack. But if I can help you out, sell you some panels, give you some information, 
we do i am having a diy i've been filming it that's what i've been doing for the last month on this virus vacation bit uh on diy solar everything from how to use a multimeter to hooking it up to pumps we're going to be putting that thing here on the air probably first of next month and we're going to just have one every week bring you along if you want to try to figure out how to do solar on yourself it's not that hard you just need to know a few things and we're going to go ahead and teach you how to do it but if i can help you let me know and as always like share subscribe tell your friends about it i'll see you the next time